Ocean Data Systems is proud to announce the release of Dream Report version 5. Dream Report 5.0 is a major release, delivering significant new features and many enhancements to existing functionality. The main themes of this release are that Dream Report is no longer just a reporting tool. It becomes a complete information and analytics platform serving many other applications. And in addition to industrial reporting, where we've been the market leader for so many years, Dream Report is now also a modern, integrated dashboarding solution. So what do we mean by an industrial analysis platform? By combining the following three key elements, Dream Report delivers industrial data and metrics through reports, new web-based dashboards, and a new analytical data server that exposes all the Dream Report analytics and calculations to external applications. In addition to the new direction we're taking Dream Report, we have a new cost calculation module for use in energy accounting and utilities billing reports. Electronic signatures, which are a key feature of the Dream Report Life Sciences module, can now be signed through a new interface in the Dream Report web portal. A new XML report output format has been added to meet the needs of electronic submission of regulatory reports. With the new advanced ODBC alarms driver, you can map into a complex alarm database and expose key alarm details without the need for building SQL queries. Also relating to alarm reporting and analysis, we've exposed pre-configured alarm filters in the web portal, allowing for dynamic alarm filtering. We've opened up Dream Report to the industrial internet of things with a new MQTT communications driver. Our new system driver exposes all internal system health and operational parameters that can be used for reporting or exposed to external applications. There are performance enhancements throughout the product with a special emphasis on some of the historian drivers. The designer studio has been updated with a sleek, more modern look and feel. Annual subscription licensing is now an option in addition to permanent licenses and much more throughout the product. With the added modern dashboarding feature, the Dream Report web portal serves the reporting, analytics, and dashboarding needs of both management and operations. A new dashboard designer studio, from which to assemble your dashboards, is launched from the Dream Report studio. The dashboards can be built from an extensive but familiar library of objects, from tables and charts and graphs to interactive maps and so many more. The dashboard objects support drill downs and flexible filtering on various parameters. Dashboards make use of Dream Report's data models for connectivity to data sources. And depending on how the data models are configured, you can expose both raw historical data as well as calculations and metrics from elsewhere in the Dream Report application. Here we see the dashboard I showed you earlier in the Designer Studio, but at runtime as part of the Dream Report web portal. The new Analytical Data Server, or ADS, turns Dream Report into a powerful analytical data platform to serve external applications. The ADS is a server module that exposes calculated data from any report or from the new system driver and makes it available to external applications. A report does not necessarily need to be scheduled to generate in order to get the data. If a data point is requested, Dream Report will perform the calculation on demand. External applications can get the data as needed, whether polled or on value change. In this release, the data is exposed through a new Dream Report OPC DA server with other OPC and JSON interfaces coming next. And an SDK API toolkit will be available for development of other connectivity plugins. Here we see the configuration of the analytical data server. Step one is to add the ADS instance to the project. Next, you add a logical grouping of items from the project that you want to expose through the ADS. Just like when configuring our data models, you can create folders and then drag and drop items from the project into the appropriate folders. You can even alias or rename the items to simplify the OPC browsing. And finally, you can choose to have secured access to the exposed data items. Here we see the Dream Report OPC server exposed through a generic OPC client tool. The cost calculation module is a new feature that enhances Dream Report's capabilities for utilities billing or anywhere you want to associate a rate or tariff to a raw data metric such as a meter or a counter. In this module, you define rate schedules for different utilities, water or electricity for example, rates for different times of the day or different times of the year can be defined, as well as rates for special dates, such as the 1st of May or Thanksgiving Day, which in the US is the last Thursday of every November. This is a very powerful and flexible interface. 
Additionally, special conditions based on meter values can be assigned. For instance, if usage is up to one limit, then use a base rate. If usage exceeds that limit, increase the rate to another value, etc. Once tariffs or rates have been defined, they can be used in reports in conjunction with a counter statistical function. So instead of or in addition to reporting on the counter calculation over a time period, you can also report the associated cost with that meter based on the selected cost definition. Using Dream Report's embedded scripting language, you can now create your own graphical objects to use in reports. We include a library of several script-based graphical objects, and users can create their own objects from scratch, or start by opening a template from our library, or from a script file. While this functionality is targeted at the advanced user or programmer, what it enables us to do is easily create custom display objects at the request of our customers, without needing to add this as new functionality in a future release. Once the object is created, it's a simple graphical interface through which the user can select tags, set display properties, and generally configure the object. But behind the scenes, everything is customizable through scripting, as we see here in this custom circular chart object. And here's the report output. With the Dream Report Life Sciences module, you have the ability to electronically sign reports using the eSignature console, which is a standalone Windows application. In Dream Report 5.0, the eSignature module is now also an option in the web portal, accessible by authorized users. As such, users can now review and sign reports from a PC-based web browser, as well as from a mobile device. The web interface follows the same workflow, where an authorized user will sign into the eSignature web page, preview only reports that they're authorized to sign, enter a comment and an optionally an approval stamp, and then electronically sign the report by providing their PIN code. The eSignature web page is accessible from a menu choice, or if a report has an eSignature requirement, the user can see which reports have been signed or which haven't, and then click on the link to take them to the eSignature page. We've opened up Dream Report to the industrial internet of things with a new MQTT communications driver. This driver provides connectivity to IoT devices by subscribing to data broker servers. We can then display current values in reports and dashboards, or archive the data using Dream Report's data logger into a standard SQL database, and then perform calculations, tabulate, chart, and report on the historical data of these IoT devices. In order to meet the regulatory requirements in several states of submitting water quality reports in XML format, Dream Report 5.0 now adds XML as a report output format, in addition to PDF, Excel, CSV, and HTML5. And we've included full support for the XML output format, including saving to local or network drives, printing, emailing it as attachments, and posting to an FTP server. Once the report's been configured, the XML output can be created from scratch, or you can import an XML template file, for example, as provided by the state, and then map the report objects and calculations into the XML document. Most Dream Report objects can be inserted into the XML output, and as we can see here, to configure the XML output, I've imported an XML template file and then I'll drag and drop report objects into the appropriate fields in the document. And that's it. In order to meet the needs of many of our OEM customers, version 5 has been fully tested in all embedded Windows operating systems. Dream Report runs without any limitations on these embedded operating systems, including the web portal. Of course, just make sure you have an up-to-date web browser. Additionally, Windows Server 2019 is now also supported. In addition to all the new features covered here, there are many more enhancements throughout the product. Please visit our website to download Dream Report 5.0, and for more information and a complete list of all the new features and enhancements, please review the latest release notes. Thanks for watching.